Hey, my name's Rich and this is the first part of my Wires and Unreal implementation demo. In this video, I'll be breaking down my attempt to recreate the footstep and suit locomotion systems used for the Javelin characters in Bioware's 2019 game, Anthem. I've constructed most of the audio systems in this project based off of the Sound of Anthem talk from GDC 2020, implementing my own takes on the systems mentioned, as well as adding some additional setups and features into the Unreal Engine using Wise. Up first is the footstep system. The footstep setup in this project is based on a very modular approach and is made up of five key elements, which I'll go through individually. Each element or layer has its own requirements and it's a combination of these elements and their respective setups that make up the overall footstep sound. The first of these is the base footstep layer. This is one of two main transient layers making up the main footstep system. The mech footstep is the second and lighter footstep element which is used in conjunction with the mechanical movement details of the suit. The surface material layer switches assets based on the surface type the player is currently in contact with. The suit weight layer is an additional low-end sweetener which is used to keep the weight of the suit consistent throughout the changes happening within the footstep system. Based on the current surface type, the sprint sweeteners are detailed one-shots such as small rocks or debris which are triggered whilst the player is moving at high velocity. This is the full footstep system with all five elements working together. To dynamically mix, switch and control all these elements, I made use of a number of the features available within WISE, including switches and switch containers, sequence containers, states and RTPCs. I've used the player speed information from Unreal to set a player speed RTPC. This RTPC value is being used in a number of different ways throughout the project. In the following example, I have used this RTPC to replicate the Anthem setup, scaling the delay duration between the base and mech footstep elements held within these sequence containers. The delay time reduces as the player speed increases. This results in the individual elements being more pronounced when the player is moving at slower speeds, creating a more realistic feel to the footsteps overall. In the Sound of Anthem talk, it is noted that to avoid issues being caused by the stacking of transients within these various layers, base elements of the footstep system are switched dynamically using a ground softness rating. Soft surfaces such as grass will use a material layer as the initial transient, whereas a hard surface such as rock will trigger the base layer initially. To replicate this system, I created two instances of the base mech sequence previously mentioned, using the base footsteps in the hard surface sequence and the material switch container in the soft surface one. I then placed both sequences within an overall switch container, and using the ground softness RTPC, I am able to dynamically switch between the two sequences. This ground softness RTPC is being driven by the density parameter of the physical material being returned by the line trace. To help maintain clarity across the system, I've also used the ground softness RTPC and the ground softness state group on various layers. Together these help dynamically manage things such as volume and delay times to keep things consistent across all surfaces. To support the footstep system, there are several different layers of movement audio that help complete the overall suit locomotion setup. Much like the footstep system, these are broken down to several key elements and are individually tagged to the character's animations where required. I elected to use a split setup of body in and body out on several of these elements to increase variation and to give a sense of separation between the forward and back motion of the player's upper body. I also made use of several of the parameters created for the footstep systems, such as using the player speed RTPC to increase the overall volume of the movement layers when the player is moving at high speed. The first of these is the body movement layer. These are simple fabric assets that work alongside the arm servos to fill out the space between footsteps. The servo layers are synced to the arm movements on the player's anim graphs and help add a distinct sense of motion to the upper body. I've also replicated the Anthem setup using the player speed RTPC on the Wise Pitch Shifter plugin, pitching down the servos at higher speeds to indicate the increased strain on them. The suit mechanical detail consists of small plastic and metallic elements and works as an additional layer to the mech footstep. As such, the setup for this is built using a modified version of the sequence setup I went through previously. The suit stress layer is another system which is designed to give a sense of the increased strain that the suit is under when moving at high speed. Utilising the same switch setup as the sprint sweeteners, when the player speed RTPC reaches the appropriate threshold, the switch is set and a subtle layer of plastic creaks and groans will be triggered alongside the other body movement audio.
Here's a suit locomotion system with the four elements working together. And this is the end result, a full mix of both footstep and suit locomotion systems completing the player's movement audio. Thanks for taking the time to check this out. This was a really fun and interesting project and I learned a lot along the way. I highly recommend checking out the talk that this video is based on and in the next part I'll be breaking down some of the thruster systems that I made as well as a setup for environmental reactions.